Hello everyone, and welcome to the musicless intro of Monster Crown. My name is Chaos in the Sky, and this is something a little different that's going to be happening on the channel today. There's no music playing on the intro screen for some reason. I guess they just didn't bother to put any in or didn't think they needed it or whatever, but uh, I did test the game already, and there is music and all, so there's no worry about that. It'll start up once we get through this little intro part. But Monster Crown is a bit of a different thing from what I normally play on the channel. It's the same kind of genre as Digimon and Pokemon. It's a sort of monster taming collecting kind of deal. There are monsters in the world, you get them, you train them, they do stuff for you. This game has a little bit more of a twist that I am especially very interested in, which is uh, the breeding mechanic. In this game, when you breed two monsters together, it makes what they call a true crossbreed. It isn't just like in Pokemon where... I don't know two Pokemon that are in the same egg group. <laughs> Skitty and Wailord are in the same egg group. You put a Skitty and a Wailord together, and they create an egg, and then whichever one of those two is the female, I think, is Skitty locked to being a female? I think it might be. But whichever of those Pokemon is the female, that's the kind of Pokemon you get from the egg. So it will always be the mother Pokemon Pokemon species. It'll always be a Skitty egg, even though it was a Skitty and a Wailord that made it. In this game, instead, the two monsters kind of fuse together to create an entirely new monster. It's sort of like DNA Digivolving from Digimon, where you, like, take Xvmon and Stingmon, you put them together, you get Dinobimon or uh, Pyildramon. Not either Xvmon or Stingmon, you get a completely new Digimon. In this game, you have two monsters breed, the result is an entirely new monster, and that's what is really the main thing that draws me to this game that makes me excited for it. Uh, the thing that, about this game that is different from the usual is it's not actually released yet. This is a demo of Monster Crown that I'm playing here. The game is in development, and it actually just had a Kickstarter start off, I think, as of the time of this video, it would have been about three days ago, and they actually absolutely shattered their Kickstarter goal. It has already been funded, but they have a bunch of stretch goals. If I'm not mistaken, they broke $7,500 probably the day before this video goes up. This is going up Friday. I think it happened on Thursday, which is the day I'm recording it. So they've already had two stretch goals met. They have a stretch goal for 10k, if I'm not mistaken, where you unlock some kind of awesome private island or something like that. Really looking forward to it. But I'm going to be backing the game myself. I'm not sure how much money I'm going to put in yet. i got to look at my funds to see how much money I can spare. But uh, I'm going to be backing the game myself. And if you choose to back the game, which there will be a link to the Kickstarter in the description, I think as long as you pledge $10... $10 is the minimum requirement to, for the tier to give you this demo that I'm playing. So you can try out the game and play it yourself if you're, if you're able to uh, back the game for $10. So I have not played any of the game yet. I've seen a trailer for it. I've heard some people talk about it. I'm in a Discord thing with some other people who are playing the game who were brought in to do videos for it and all that. But I am super excited for it. They even Monster Crown, because they're such cool people, gave me a little code that I can use for a special, unique monster that I'll be able to share with all of you so that you may use it as well. But yeah, is there anything else I wanted to say? Uh, Monster Crown, right now I believe their goal is to have it released by February of 2019, so it's about eight months away. It's a ways to go, but it takes time to build a game. It looks fantastic from what I've seen of it. Uh, it's going to be on the Switch, I know that. I don't know if it's going to be on PS4 or Xbox, but I know it's going to be on PC and the Switch at the minimum, so if you have a Switch and that's your kind of jam, you can get it for the Switch when it comes out. I think that's it. Back it on Kickstarter for $10. They'll give you the demo that you can use. It's going to be on the Switch eventually. I think that's about all I wanted to cover. Yeah, so I'm going to leave a link to uh, the Monster Crown Twitter and their Kickstarter in the description down below. Please go check it out. It's, uh, it's fantastic. The guys at Monster Crown are great. It was so kind of them to contact me and give me the opportunity to do this. I didn't even, like I said, I haven't backed it yet. I'm going to, but I didn't even have to back it. They gave me the demo so I could play it. So... Yeah, I think we're good to go. Let's get into the game and see what it's all about. Uh, this is a this is uh, one of the main monsters. I think it's the main like it's kind of like Monster Crown's Pikachu, basically. I think it's called Laz, but uh, that's not exactly what it'll look like. This game is uh, it's like old school Pokemon Crystal Gold and Silver. That's the kind of art style they went with, and I think it's better to just show you than anything else. So let's load up the new game and get to it. And the music should kick in after this text here. You shall be ours, our new messiah. Yeah, there it is. Now we got music. It's a lot better when it's not just my voice, isn't it? <laughs> what is your name? We're going to go with Chaos, obviously, as my name. Which of these best suits you? This is a really nice addition they have here. I am a he. What do you look like? Press left or right to change. All right. Uh, I actually got really confused when I did this the first time because it changes your skin color and you can't get back to that skin color. But you get to choose your skin color as soon as you choose your hair. This is just for your hair. 
Uh, I mean, I gotta go looking like my boy Gary Elk. Because that's what that reminds me of. What do you like? And this is where you get to change your... <laughs> I saw this when I was testing the game to make sure I could record it well. Which, by the way, I really hope that my voice is heard easily well over the music. I tested that a couple of times, and I think it's at a good level. If it's uh, not fantastic, I'll make it better for the next video. But it should be good. But uh, I... That's hilarious, but I cannot sit through the entire game with bright blue hair and super pink, like, Majin Buu skin. I, I won't be able to do it. Let's go with, uh... I kind of like this one, actually. This kind of maroonish color. I think that's maroon. I don't know. I don't know colors. We're going to go with that. Let's do it. Sorry if you can hear me tapping on my keyboard. My mic picks up more than I want it to. And the people had been through enough. Together, they rose to tear down the old world and build it anew. Good for them. The music is reset. What does this mean? Oh, no. It means I'm here now. All right. This is our room. Our room sucks, man. There's, like, nothing in here. We got to... We got a table with some weird book that has got Braille on it. I don't. Even, I can't even read Braille. This means nothing to me. And then we got this bed. It's a pretty nice looking bed, though. But yeah, you can kind of already see the art style is super similar to Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, which is uh, pretty nostalgic for some people. I actually got into Pokemon and Ruby, so it's not as nostalgic for me, but I did play Silver and enjoyed it. Good morning, Chaos. Are you rested up for the day? Why don't you go outside and see what your father wants? An RPG, a turn-based monster claiming RPG, where we have both a mother and a father? It's unheard of. This is groundbreaking. They've never had such a thing in one of these games ever before, except for Generation 3 of Pokemon. But other than that, never before. Yo, what's up? Pretty sure this is my dad. Hey, Dad, how's it going? This is as far as I went when I was testing stuff to make sure that the game would be good for me to record and all. So from here on, I have absolutely no idea about anything. Chaos, there you are. Did Mom finally wake you up? I actually woke up on my own. Was Mom supposed to wake me up? Because if so, she failed miserably. Hope you're rested up. We need to clear that new field to the southeast and start laying seed. If we don't do it this week, the crops won't have the time to grow by harvest. Go to the field, pick up the pumpkins, and feed them to Tidon, Chaos. Then come back and let me know you got it done. You got it, Daddy. I am on it. No wonder we don't have dads in the... Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go, I think. So let's go this way first. I imagine that monster there is Tidon. Can't go into the water. Makes sense. Got some nice trees here. I'm stuck. Rip. But, uh... This is why they don't have fathers in the other video games. They make you do stuff. Lame stuff. Like chores for getting the harvest. Whenever you are up against... Or at least it was right... Yeah, you can't turn right to look at this structure. This, uh, plant thing next to us. That's really weird. You can't look directly at it. Strange, but nothing major. Uh, hey, Chaos, come over before you leave. Okay, fine. But yeah, this is why you're not allowed to have dads in video games normally. They make you do lame chores, like feed the monsters so that you can do the field and all that. What's up, you? Can I not talk to you? You probably don't want anything to do with me. You just want you just want the... <laughs> these pumpkins? They look like oranges. What do I press E? Ah, uh, press E to pick them up. Sick. Alright, here you go. Do I have to bring you all of them at once? I cannot pick up another one while holding this one. Maybe I have to try and talk to you. Oh, you're happy. Yeah, you want... Oh, uh, yeah. You just keep pressing the button. He eats it more and more. I get it. I understand. I know how video games work. This is the entire game, guys. We're just going to keep feeding this guy pumpkins forever and ever. Honestly, this is the dream game. I'm so glad that $8,000 have been put into this game so far so that we can feed this guy pumpkins for the rest of our lives. All right, Dad, I finished feeding the monster. Got it done? Great. Now that we've cleared the field, we need some good raw force to prepare it for planting. We'll use a cart to soften it up, but that's no job for humans. We're going to need a real brute to get it done properly. So, Chaos, think you could handle being a monster tamer? Yes? Great. First off, a monster will want nothing to do with someone like you. Wow, Dad, thanks for the vote of confidence. No wonder no other video games have fathers in them. Not unless you have something to give it in return. Monsters vie for power, territory, food. That's just scraping the surface. You're going to need some contracts to convince them to join you. They'll understand it well enough to either accept or decline. And from there, you'll either have them join you or, well, why don't you just give it a try? Yo, wait. Instead of, like, catching them in any kind of a device or something like in Pokemon and Digimon, we're going to, like, make a contract with the monster? That sounds awesome. It's like, uh, it's like a Naruto where you make a contract with the summon spirits and then you can summon stuff. That's sick. I love it. Welcome to Monster Battle. Yo, my dad looks sick. Let me show you around. This here is the kill bar. If it reaches the top, your monster is out for the count. Okay, interesting. 
This is where you can choose actions, and this is the synergy bar. As you swap monsters, you'll build when you finally attack. The bar is depleted, okay? Unleashing a huge power. I think I might have accidentally clicked through an extra thing of text there and missed a sentence. Whatever. For now, let's attack. Roadask is weak to swipe, so use swipe. All right, time to swipe this fool, then. How do I know that he's weak to swipe? Is there some kind of, like, are there types of some kind in this, like in Digimon and Pokemon? There probably are. I just don't know how to tell what's what. I also got swiped. Okay. This is interesting. I like this. So instead of having a health bar that goes down, you have, like, a breaking point, where instead, like, the bar goes up, and if you fill the bar entirely, then you take them out, instead of having a bar that you deplete. That's that's interesting. It's different. I like it. Wow, you really nailed Rodask. It's still the same basic concept, of course, but I, I do enjoy that it's, you know, just a little bit different, just to, you know, mix things up. If you want to do heavy damage, you can build up Synergy, all right? Right now, we only have Teed on, so I'll give you some Synergy. Ah, thanks, Dad. I'm glad that you can just, like, throw Synergy at me whenever you feel like it. Now attack Rodask again. All right, I'm going to swipe him again. I said, can I body tackle? Game won't even let me. He wants me to swipe. Prepare to get swiped, you nerd. Ah, elect burn and then, like, plus A. Two status effects came up at once there and got, like, overlapped a bit. Now that's some serious damage. From here, you could finish him. Or you could use the offer option to offer a contract to Rodask and add him to your team. Go on, try to recruit him. All right, yeah, sure. Uh, offer. I have 99 normal contracts. Let's do it. <laughs> Enemy Rodask is considering the contract. It scoffed at my contract. Oh, no. And then it swiped me. How dare you? That was a very well-thought-out piece of parchment that I poured my heart and soul into 99 times. Looks like this Rodask isn't very impressed by Tidon. It's important that a monster can see that you can raise powerful monsters. Ideally, you want to be a few levels higher than them. Ah, so if you have more levels than the monster you're up against, it's more likely to take your contract. Nice. Now that you've got a grasp for the basics, I've got a mission for you. You're a natural. You just told me I wasn't, like, just before this fight, you said I wasn't cut out for it. <laughs> Changed your mind so fast, Dad. I'll let you borrow my Tidon. Just be careful with him. He's got a nasty bite, and he's not quite as tame as he could be. Got Tidon. Nice. Go out to the round. To the, to the round. Go out to the road and find me the biggest, toughest Primagon you can to plow these fields. If you tame anything else, we'll have to release it. All right, so I just... Oh, that's right. I did see this in the trailer. I can't look back at him to talk to him. No! But you do have your monsters follow you in this game, which is pretty sick. I don't know if Tidon is like our starter. I like... Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. I like it shows you where you are on the overworld map when you go from area to area. That is a very nice touch. I like that a lot. That is sick. Very good. I'm a big fan. This straight up reminds me of, like... Gen 1 Pokemon right now, this music. I like it a lot. Obviously, this game is, uh... Are you an enemy that I can face? Oh, this is a Primagon. Okay, you're what I'm looking for. Alright, this is... I do like these designs so far. They're pretty good. I'm really looking forward to... I don't know when I get to do it, but at some point I get to put in a code and I get a special monster that they, uh, let me... They gave me a list of five monsters and said, pick one, you get this one that can't be gotten normally and you can use it in your playthrough. I'm, and the one that I picked is sick. I cannot wait to see it. Let's body tackle this fool. Oh, I'm seven levels ahead of him, I've just realized. So yeah, I, uh, I accidentally murdered him. Oh dude, that is a cool experience bar. I like that a lot too. Okay. This game is uh, it's looking pretty good so far. I am, I am enjoying it greatly. There's another Primagon. Hello? It's best not to go any further before chatting with Dad. Okay, that's too far then. Can I like get... I gotta find a way to get... Ah, right here. The fence just starts there. Let's go grab this Primagon if I can. Can I even get to it? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Here are some. I also like the... It looks like a monster's mouth closing in on you when you get into combat. So you're only level 3. I'm just gonna give you a contract and hope. Yeah. Consider it. Ah, accepted. Nice. I'm glad that you chose to take my contract. We're now legally binded together forever. Primagon has been recruited. Didn't look like my experience bar went up at all after that. I assume you don't get experience if you contract the monster. Hey, Dad, I got one. Wow, you got a big, strong one. Great job, Chaos. Well, I've got a little surprise for you since you did a great job today. Last week when I made that trip into Charity Kingdom, I bought you a comic book. Oh, dude, sick! Why don't you take a break for now? Maybe give it a read. <laughs> Question mark, two exclamation marks. Oh, don't forget to check the back cover. There's something there I want you to see. Yo, I'm down. Let me read this thing. What do we got? 
thought. The comic book is interesting and enjoyable, but it's not the first issue, so the story is hard to follow. Oh, no! We got, like, issue seven of The Amazing Spider-Man or something. We don't understand the rest of it. And on the back cover, you find a personality quiz. Answer these questions and mail it in with one gold to win your very own monster. One gold is all it takes to get a monster in this world? That's super cheap. Oh, so they're gonna do this, like, mystery dungeon style. I'm gonna answer these questions, and then they're gonna be like, this is the monster that best fits you. Okay, I like it. I can, I can, uh, be down with this. Question one, you're participating in a 5k race. What do you do? Strive to beat the competition, never give up. Trip up your rival. Oh, that's just rude. Set up dangerous traps? Hold up, I'm in a 5k race, and I'm gonna set up traps? Like, I, that's, that's next level right there. Ditch it and do something else. I'm gonna be real with you, I'm not much of a runner. My friend, uh, my best friend actually, Meredith, is super into running. She does cross country and stuff. So she's probably gonna be upset if she ever sees these videos. But she's in her last, like, two weeks of college before she graduates, just like I am. She doesn't have time to watch my videos. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ditch it and do something else. Meredith will never be the wiser. When it comes to music, you prefer thrash metal, hard rock, classical, dance punk. I'm gonna be honest with you, none of these really call out to me personally. But, uh... I don't know, out of these, I guess I'll go hard rock. Why not? For a hobby, I prefer playing mind games. What is what what does playing mind games mean? Am I gonna like be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and then mind crush some people? Messing with others online is the obvious answer. Playing chess is probably second. Exercising is dead last. Getting into fights. Okay, yeah. So like playing chess is a close second. Mind games is probably my third pick, but uh messing with others online is literally all I do with my life. Time to mail it in and see what happens. Dude, it only takes three questions to figure out my entire personality. Sick. That's exactly how much depth I have to my personality. One week later, three questions can just tell you who I am. That alarm clock is awful. Please never use the sound clip again, Monster Crown developers, if you're watching this. Chaos, it's time to wake- Oh, good morning. What's with the expression? What are you- You were trying to, like, tell me to wake up, but I was standing in the room in front of you? Come on, Mom. Get your- Get yourself together here. Oh, today is, you're expecting to get a monster in the mail, aren't you? They're gonna mail me in? They're living, breathing creatures. They're mailing them to people? I wish you would've asked me before you sent that. It sounds an awful lot like a scam. That's what I'm thinking. But I, I'm only out, what, one gold? Big deal. Don't feel bad, Chaos. We all fall for these things at times. When I was a girl, I sent money into a sweepstake for x-ray glasses. Nice, but they never came. Aw, oh, that's wonderful. Now, why don't you go see if your father, knock, 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 says the door. Chaos, you better hurry on out here. I don't think this cage is gonna hold much longer. Aw, uh, sick. Screw you, Mom. The internet didn't lie to me, and by the internet, I mean that random newspaper. Uh, yes, you, young man. You sure that Chaos is old enough to handle this? Of course, Chaos is already 14. That's plenty, of, plenty old enough. I'm 14 in this game, good to know. Is Isaac my dad? Also, that's not how Isaac is normally spelled. Is it pronounced Isaac, or is it like Isaac or something? I don't know how to pronounce it. Ah, uh, well, it came with all the appropriate paperwork, I suppose. Yeah, the, <laughs> the little mail comic that I mailed in with one gold. Just sign here and take off the type of monster next to it for records, okay? You got it. All right, we got a Who Claw. All right, this is one of the ones that uh, I saw in the, in the, uh, what the heck is it? The trailer thing that they showed, I'm pretty sure I saw this thing. This is one of the ones that they uh, were showing off on their Twitter as well. It's a vicious type. All right, so types types use words like vicious, I guess. We'll see, I have to see what some of the other types are called. They actually, I saw some of the type names when I had to pick what the monster that they gave me the code for, but I don't remember them now. Uh, Ambigu is recommended for you. Press up and down to pick. Oh no, I do, oh, never mind. There's multiple, oh, okay. So the personality quiz recommends the unstable type because I'm an unstable person apparently, but uh, I do still get to pick between these five options. They are all different types. We have vicious, brute, will, relentless, and unstable. Okay. I wonder if those are the only five types or if there are more. Dracoil is like, he's pretty up there, and Darwal, oh my goodness. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to pick between Darwol and Dracoil. I, I'm sorry to tell you that you're wrong personality quiz, but Ambigu just doesn't appeal to me. A part of me is just like, dude, you gotta take the whale, man. Like, how can I not take the whale? But the other part of me is like, this is some kind of dragon... 
gargoyle thing? It's a relentless type? Like, how can I not... How can I not take that? Monster Crown, you can't give me five options. This is too hard, man. Oh, my goodness. I, I think I have to take the whale. Like, Dracoil is sick, but, like, I, I gotta take the whale. We have to. I'm taking the will type. You have five of these things in the cage, by the way? Oh, look at this little one. It must be a first level. I've never seen one like this before. I can't even tell what type it is. Unstable? Brute? No, it's definitely relentless. Uh, actually, you will find that it's a will type. Well, Chaos, you're off the hook for farming today. Why don't you spend some time training your new monster and seeing how it grows? Go fight some of the monsters outside the farm and come talk to me when your new buddy here is a bit stronger. I might have a job for a young monster tamer who shows some potential. Can't help but feel like my dad is belittling me. How dare he? But all right, this is, this is sick. I like it. It looks like he has an eye on his back. That's pretty hilarious. All right, I had to pick the whale, man. How could I not take this whale? Look at it. Look at how adorable it is. It's a little whale just following me around. Yo, Dad, what's up? Chaos, is your monster doing well? I think it could use some more training. I'm not confident in it quite yet. Be sure to rest in your bed if you get exhausted. All right, so that's like our Pokemon Center, basically. Well, let's see if we can beat something up with my whale here. Are there any Primagons lying around? Where are you guys at? I do like that the monsters are actually, like, they walk around in the overworld. You don't just, like, walk through grass or anything and then a monster attacks you. Like, in, oh, we're level 5. Sick. Not level 1. Tidal Claw. I like the sound of that. Oh, no, he swiped me. How dare he? But I resisted, apparently. All right, Tidal Claw looks pretty sick. I like it. Did we Oko you? Oh, yeah, we did. Get wrecked. Nice and six experience. I love this level bar. Showing his little icon going across the thing. That's actually great. I love that. I don't know if monsters, like, evolve in any way. I don't know if there's any evolution or digivolution in this game. As far as I'm aware, they're like this forever, and then you breed them to get crossbreeds. They probably have, uh, I did see, actually, this is a new one right here. What is this? Sacred. That's pretty cool looking. I like it. Some kind of, like, armadillo-looking dude going on here. Get Tidal Claw. I outspeed you. I didn't outspeed the Primagon. Oh, it's only level one. It's super dead. See you later. Only two experience. Went pretty far across the board, though. That's fine. I want to get you up to level two, and then we can go back and talk to Dad. Can I keep going? Nope. It's best to... Yep. All right. We're still kind of in tutorial land. That's fair. I want to get to level six, which I'm level five right now, and uh, talk to Dad and see what he tells us, and then I'm probably going to wrap up this video for today. Hello, deer-looking thing. What are you? Oh, it's Laz. This is like the main dude of the game. This is like the Pikachu of the game, basically. Get Tidal Claude, you nerd. He's only level one. He's probably getting no code. It's honestly too easy. I don't know... I'm super close to level six. I don't know how many monsters you can have in the party at one time. If I ever accidentally say Pokemon or Digimon instead of monsters, by the way, which I might have already done today, but if I ever do that, I apologize. <laughs> it's hard to get out of that habit. Enemy Primagon approaches. Level four. All right, we can get some level ups here, boys. Body tackle. That did a good bit of damage to us. We easily to a KO this fool, though, so we're fine. We do need to go heal before we fight anything else. I am a really big fan. I'm level six. Nice. Darwol, you deserve it, dude. Easiest level six of my career. I'm a really big fan of not just, like, walking through tall grass, or in Digimon's case, like, walking in an area where enemies can spawn and then they just appear in combat. I'm a really big fan of seeing, like, the overworld sprite of the monster and then getting to walk into it and then battle commences. That's really awesome. Let's rest really quickly. Take a few moments to rest up. I will. Don't mind if I do. Very good. What is, uh, what is the menu button? It's not X, it's not C, it's Enter. Team, Handbook, Save, Net, Net, Bat. And, okay, Team. This doesn't really tell me how many people I can have in the team. I'm gonna assume it's like the standard six that Pokemon does, but we'll find out later. My creations have nothing on it. That's probably from breeding stuff. Uh, it's saving the game. The bottom and the top of the screen, you might notice how, like, working was kind of cut off there a little bit. The... 
a tiny bit of the top of the screen and a tiny bit of the bottom of the screen. Not much, I assure you. You're barely missing anything from it. It's slightly cut off because of the the size of the window of Monster Crown. It's either cut off a little bit of the top and the bottom, which I looked at it after testing it and it looked fine. I thought it was okay. Or uh, you have to have black bars on the side and on video. When you actually play the game, it doesn't look like that at all. Like if, if you guys were looking at the actual game window, it's just there's no nothing is cut off. There's no black bars on the side. But uh, to make it into the size that it needs to be for a video, there would either be some black bars on the left and right, or I cut off a little bit of the top and the bottom. But barely any of it is cut off. You won't, you can't even tell, really, other than when it puts text at the very bottom of the screen. Wow, that monster is already getting tougher. Now, Chaos, are you aware of how trade relationships work? We have to maintain a good standing with other towns to get access to things we need. Food, oil, that sort of thing. Uh, economics aside, it's customary to give gifts to the king to show goodwill. We're pretty far from all three kingdoms, but I'd like to get into the good books of the closest one, at least. I'd like you to be the one to deliver the gift. On the way home last week, I stopped in with an old friend of mine. He's a fisherman, and he offered me a beautiful pearl he found way out at sea. Take a look at it, won't you? Ah, exclamation points. I was very impressed. I'd like you to take this to Humanism Kingdom. Humanism? Yeah, that's what that word is. Humanism Kingdom and deliver it directly to King Tenna. I could just I could just walk up and meet the king whenever I feel like it. That's awesome. I just know it'll make a good impression. Along the way, it'll be a great opportunity for you to train your monster and find some new ones to tame. I know, it's scary leaving home. I wouldn't ask you if I didn't think you could handle it. Your mom and I will always be here for you if you get hurt. You're showing quite a bit of talent as a tamer after, you know, having one for like a day. And I know what, and I know that's what you've always wanted to do. It'll be fun. Here, take a few more contracts for the road. Got normal contract times five. Call me from the general store in Milltown when you get there. Okay, I'm sure you'll be fine, but I'm still your dad after all. Oh, I almost forgot. You can now use the breeding facility in the barn. It's on the east side of the farm. Sick. Breeding is what I look forward to. I accidentally talked to him again. Hey there, kid. How's your trip going? Did you come back to get some rest? Let me tell your mom you're here. We can all sit down for a big family dinner and let you rest up. What a nice family. Ah, uh, wait. I didn't think you'd actually throw me through a cutscene. Dad, no. What is happening? Not, I'm here now. Alright, cool. So we can already get into breeding. Breeding is what I'm really looking forward to in this game. Still don't know if there's anything like evolution or anything like that. I guess we'll find out as we go. But uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm not supposed to have like 99 normal contracts. I bet that they give you that. Or maybe they took away my 99. Where can I check my items? What is net that? Oh, that's right. They're net, net, net battle, because they do have online combat in this game. You can uh, meet up with others and fight them. I don't know where, if anywhere, I can check my items, but that's fine. We're going to save the game here, and I'm going to wrap up for today. This video is a bit longer than I wanted it to be. I was going to stop around 25 minutes, but this is fine. So when we come back next time, we'll continue on to the next area and try and make our way to the king and see what's going on with that. I'm going to keep these videos probably at about 25 minutes. I don't know how long this demo is supposed to be, and I don't know how many videos I'm going to do of it anyways, but uh, I'm going to go through like any of the... Until the game is just like, hey, this is the end of the demo, I'm going to keep going until that point, probably. I probably won't record any videos of me just, like, fighting a lot and catching random monsters and then, like, breeding them over and over again. But I will definitely do a little bit of breeding in this playthrough before I end it, because I really want to see the crossbreed stuff go down. But, yeah, I think that's all for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, there will be... I'm actually going to upload, like, probably three or four videos of this on the Friday it's going up. So, even though I'm saying, like, thanks for watching and end of today, this is the first video. You should get at least two or three more. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm, I like it so far. I'm really looking forward to it. I look forward to seeing more. Now that we kind of got the tutorial out of the way, I'm expecting it to just get better from here. So, yeah, big thanks again to the Crown Devs for giving me this game, to uh, giving me the demo of the game to play on the channel. Definitely go check out their Twitter and their Kickstarter. I will leave a link to it in the description below. And I will also go ahead and drop the code for uh, a monster called Frigidile, which is the monster that I chose as my special one. I don't know when I get to put in that code and use it, but we will do that as soon as we can. I look forward to getting that monster. It looks sick. So hopefully next video I can get that and show it to you guys. But yeah, until next time, farewell.